everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. This is project number five, uh, oh gosh, no, project number six, sorry, of my um, creative card series. So today's one is a pop-up card. It's the simplest way I can describe this. Um, I'm really pleased with this one. This is completely my design um, and idea. I did look up, because um, it is uh, paper cutting, really, um, and obviously there are these pop-up cards, but in terms of this design and stuff, I haven't seen anything like this one. So um, I'm claiming this is my own. Apologies if someone has done it, but I have genuinely haven't seen it. So um, super pleased with it. It is it is easy. It's just lots of little elements to it. Um, but as long as you follow the the tutorial step by step, you should be fine. Um, for this one, I have used my um, now sadly retired. I was really hoping that this one would continue with stamping up. It was the oh so succulent. It was really popular and everybody was using it. And I, I really did think it was going to carry on, but it, it hasn't. Um, however, I'm still using it because I love it. Um, however, with all these projects, um, if you haven't got this, it doesn't matter. You can use any flower um, punches that you have. Um, any flower stamps that you have you might have to you know um, cut those ones out yourself but you'll still be able to get this same effect um, the colors I've used as well if you do want to follow exactly the ones I've used is daffodil delight peekaboo peach sorry these are the colors I'm going to be using for the one I'm going to be showing you um, not for the, the one I've got there so it's daffodil delight peekaboo peach calypso coral real red Always artichoke and gumball green. I know some of those are old colours, but I don't throw or get rid of anything. Um, and I'll just show you on the side there, you can see how it all works. It can lie completely flat, so it's obviously how it would be. I mean, it is kind of glued down now, um, but it folds really nicely. I've got a lovely little sentiment on the top, which was another old stamping up just for you, and I've used on your special day. And then I've just stamped again um, some other... Uh, um, of those uh, succulent stamps. I've also put a wood effect border, which was my papers from Do Crafts, um, the capsule elements, and this was the wood effect. So it's only minor, but I just thought it then showed these kind of pieces here. The kind of idea was meant to be like a bit of like a rockery or a planter, something in your garden. That's the kind of thing I've tried to create there. Um, and like I said, I'm really, really pleased with this one. I think it's a, such a lovely card and it can work as a really, it could be a really nice sympathy card. Um, this is obviously for birthday. You could do it as a wedding card. You, know, you could do this as a cake tier. Um, there's lots of different ways that you could you could really play this. You could have the, the bride and groom at the top and things like that. So really have a play around with it. Um, but let's crack on. And it stands up as well, not like a normal card. So either be, you know, the whoever you're giving it to might keep it like that. Otherwise, it does. You just have to kind of sit it a bit, but it does sit up as well on its own. Okay. So I am using today. I've got one here that I've already kind of done just to show you um, as we're going through the step by step. Um, let me grab my scoreboard just so I can check all my measurements. Um, am I all in view there? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I am using red tones. So that was all purple ones. This time I'm going for the red tones. So the main card stock itself is five and a half by eleven. Um, and while I've got the scoreboard here, it's a simple um, score. You just want to score at five and a half on the eleven in, um, eleven inch side, just down the middle there. Um, and just fold that one in half and then that gives you your nice five, five and a half by five and a half card. So it would be a six inch um, envelope on the envelope punch board. Um, and then you need your the card that we're actually going to um, cut to make that kind of um, tiered effect. And this measures ten and a half by five and a quarter. And along the ten and a half side you want to score at five and a quarter. And again, then fold that piece in half and that will give you your nice little insert and that's going to sit inside the card. Then just for the decoration, I've got this wood effect card, um, which is five and a quarter square. And that's going to go on the top like so. And then I've already, I'm going to go through all of these so you know how many pieces you need if you're using the O succulent uh, stamps. This is my top piece for my card and that's five by five square and that's just going to be layered mounted on top of that one with a nice border and then 
again mounted on top of that one there. And I just thought the real red, I don't use it enough, I think it's obviously, you know, for Christmas time and stuff, but mixed with all the um, other kind of, you know, red, oranges, um, yellows, it just worked really, really nice, so I'm glad I used that one. Um, so that's the kind of dressing of the card all done, and then the pieces to recreate the same that I have here, so I'm going to do exactly the same um, patterns, um, with this uh, oh so succulent stamp set, you will need to stamp and die cut three of these big ones, okay, and then I have, excuse all the ink and stuff, this is obviously me prepping it, oh I didn't put my gloves on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of this one here, um, these are the little, I don't really know what they are called, they're just obviously little leaves and stuff but you need five of uh, this one here then the little yellow ones which is this one here I've got one two three four five six seven eight again you know if you've got slightly more slightly less it doesn't really matter um, but I know some people do like to follow it exact um, one two three, four, five, six, seven of this one here. I love these ones. I, I just love green foliage, leaves, things like that. Um, so that's all of those elements there. So I'll pop all those to one side because we don't need those for a while. And then my sentiment was just the happy birthday to a very special per person. And I just used two of my rectangle um, stitched framelits. And the biggest one measures at uh, do, 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 three inches and the smaller one is the two and a half okay so again if you've got those um, and that is everything so let's crack on we've done the scoring so now we'll go straight into the actual um, cutting and doing this piece here so I'll just get rid of all of that um, and grab my paper. So you need that. Um, I can't remember my measurement of this piece now. This was the uh, ten and a half by five and a quarter. So you folded it in half. Now what you want to do is with the side that you folded, you want that to face you, okay? And grab yourself a pencil. Grab a ruler. And just line your ruler up along the bottom, first of all. Make sure I'm all in here. Go a bit further, there we go. Um, and it will be five and a quarter. Now what you want to do is you want to mark at half an inch. Now all this pencil you're not going to see. And if you did want to rub it out, you can. Because this is all going to be stuck on it's this side here. You can just kind of see my pencil marks from this one. It's all going to be stuck down, so don't worry. Um, so put a marker at half a inch on that side and then you want to do half an inch on that side and then rotate it and then what you want to do is I'm going to get my head in here is then from one inch you want to just do a line from that half an inch like so okay then you want to line your ruler up so it's starting from that half an inch point to the other half an inch point so this will now measure four and a quarter and again you want to then draw another half an inch and another half an inch okay and then again you want to go up one inch this is just a guide don't worry if the lines are slightly you know they're not you don't have to join up exact or anything like that but it's just a guide then again line your ruler up you should now be at three and a quarter and again, just make sure I am, yep. You want to then do another quarter inch in that side and quarter inch in that side. And then go up another inch. And another inch. Like so. Now you can go up again if you want to. Um, if you want to create a, an even bigger one. I think I have got, let me just grab... <clears throat> was this one here I done but it was a little bit messy but that was a slightly different measurement I might do this one for a different um, another project 
um, but you can see there all the one inch squares that we're creating. So that was another one again. Um, I'll just pop that one down there to remind me. But I just wanted to keep this one simple um, and straightforward. And I think it's quite a nice way to kind of, if, you, if you've never done this before, it's quite a nice way to ease you into um, paper cutting. So that is all you need to do here. Then grab yourself some scissors and make sure your card's all nicely folded and it's all lined up and it's completely flat. If you want to burnish this so it's nice and flat, then do so. Then what you want to do is just very neatly, you want to cut up that first line up to that one inch corner. And again, like so. Grab your ruler, line your ruler up along the top of that one inch that we've just cut. And again, making sure it's nice and even. So what I will do is just cut up that one a little bit more. Okay. Like so. And then just lift the card up and you just want to burnish it against the ruler. Okay. Now once you've done that, open it up. Okay. And you want to push that piece inside and bring this all back down like so and just folding you can kind of fold those side pieces just to help you and then that piece down so you basically brought it in on itself okay and then fold the front piece up and the back piece. Like so. So that piece is now inside and these two pieces are up. So you're back to the point where you were at the beginning, but that piece that we've just cut is now gone up inside, like so. Now the next one is you want to cut up again. Now this time when you cut, once it, you get to the top and it starts to get really, really hard to cut, you want to stop. Do not cut all the way through. So you're not technically going to the very top of that one. So again, on the other side, just cut up and I can feel it. And you can also look inside and you can see how close you're coming to the top there. Basically you need to make sure that you've got a pit, some of it still attached. And that is what will give you all of these little kind of joins here. So you can see I'm literally just so close to it, but as soon as you cut through, you'd lose the you'd lose this um, this design. So do be careful. Don't just go cutting away. And then again, you want to do the same. Just grab your ruler, line up the cut lines is probably best to describe, as opposed to the actual um, pencil marks. So that's that one there, and then I'm just going to bring up that other one, like so. If you tear a little bit, it's fine, don't worry, just to join it up, because you're going to be covering all that with your design. Okay, so that's that one. And then again, I'm going to pull it all out, and you're pushing everything back in on itself. So this first one here, like so. And then if you turn it over, you can push up that other one. like so and then turn it back over and you've got that last piece left so inside you're folding up all of those pieces there so the last one again I'm going to cut but don't go all the way through like so grab your ruler and again line up and this one you'll have three. So the first one you had one, the second one you had two, the last one you have three, and so on. And then again we want to fold all these in. So pull it all out. Start from the top. Fold that one down. And the next one. Fold that one and that one. Okay. 
Okay, make sure it's all nicely um, folded and then just burnish just again, just to make sure. Like I said, don't worry about this under piece if it's got marks and stuff, you're not gonna see any of it. And then when you bring it out, there it is. So it's, it is easy, it's just, you just have to be careful with that cutting. Um, so I've got two there, I can add that to another card um, and another day. But that is basically all it is. So now we need to attach that to our card and it's gonna sit inside like so with a nice border on each side like that and then it will fold up and down when you open the card. So what you want to do is keep it folded flat like that and you basically want to put glue on all of this. Um, I'm going to use my, my sticky prick stick and just carefully Obviously you want to make sure this is secure because it's going to be holding everything in and you don't want it to um, come undone when you come to open that card. So do one side at a time, stick it in and then do the other side when it's stuck into the card. Don't just um, do it all because you'll get yourself into a bit of a mess. If you're using tear tape then that's fine. Uh, just trying to catch it in the light because I can see where I've stuck all this. I'll get it right into all my edges. Okay, so just line it up so you've got a nice even border each side there, and then I'm just gonna stick that one down and just check I'm happy. It's a good thing with this glue is it's really forgiving, you can move it around. So apply all the pressure and everything on there. Like so, and then turn it over and do this side. And there we go. So that is the card, and obviously it folds nice and flat. Once you've put stuff on it, it does start to come become bulky. But I think it's a really, really fun card. I mean, you could have it that way if you've got another kind of design you want to do. Um, but it's certainly something that I'm going to do a lot more of. I've really, really enjoyed um, how simple this is, but how much of a, a great effect you get. And living in Asia, there are lots of amazing paper cutting um, cards, especially when we went to Vietnam. Um, I should try and find it, actually, because I have got one somewhere. And the, the intricacy on these cards is absolutely phenomenal and they're beautiful. And they were being sold for such a little amount and you, you, you feel bad because you know, well, to be fair, probably a lot of them now are done on great big machines or something. But um, we did see one lady that was actually doing them and she was asking such a little amount. And I just thought, gosh, I know how long, you know, things take. So um, she should have been charging a lot more, but unfortunately... People don't, not everyone realises how much work goes into what we make, so. Anyway, so now I'm just going to stick and dress the front of the card, and then I'll go on and show you where I put all of my flowers for the inside. Okay. So again, just give myself a nice even border. Okay, so that's the front of the card, all starting to look very nice. So now we just need to have fun and dress it all. So I've got my little sentiment. I'm going to pop that in now, just so I know where to kind of have the flowers kind of all. I know I said I'm copying the other one, but I just want to, there's a couple of little bits I did want to change. So this one, just line that up so it's nice and central to that kind of step. And then I'll make sure I've got an even kind of amount there. There we go. Um, oh, I just thought I didn't do a sentiment for the top. That's fine. I can do that off camera. You don't need to worry too much there. So now it's just layering it all up. So I'm just going to pop that one there so I can see what I'm doing. I'll start. I'll stick a few down now just so you can see. And then um, you can just crack on and do, do your own. I'm going to use my white glue for this. Um, 
just because it's not as sometimes that can be a, a bit too messy just a little bit of glue I'm going to pop my first one down there now what you want to do when you're sticking them down is make sure you get them if you you know they're on that crease they're right flush with that crease so that when you come to fold it up and down it sits perfectly you don't want any of it kind of folding over like so and then I'll pop a little orange one I mean you can really go to town and you can add so much really really fill them up I do think that kind of um, more is best when it comes to um, some of the card making um, I think actually I needed to cut did I cut another flower? I didn't do the really tiny ones which I've done in that one so I will maybe cut some more out what other one did I have? my green, or oh, my favourite greens a little bit there and I'll feed that one underneath and then I've got these funny little, so I don't really know what they are, but I like them and they're part of the collection. So I'm going to pop this one in behind and kind of feed it inside there. So it's kind of hanging out like so. You want to make sure it completely dries because you don't want any of it sticking when you come to close the card. But you can see there what I've just done on the bottom on the bottom one there and I'm just going to basically now stagger this all also, up. Also I forgot to um, you oh, need for the three pieces of um, wood effect for the steps here um, and these measure at seven eighths of an inch by two and um, one eighth of an inch and they just sit nicely on the steps there so it's entirely up to you what you want to do but that's the measurement for whatever it is and if you really do want to do more you could do little ones on all of these as well so um, there are other, obviously other bits you can do but I'm going to crack on and get mine finished and then I'll show you okay, um, the so end result there you have it um, I may add more to it I'm not entirely sure I haven't put the sentiment there because I might do some more flowers cascading um, over this side um, but that is the finished look um, so it all nicely folds down flat and it will fit in your envelope again I'll put all those details on my blog um, but they're just two really really lovely cards and they both stand up and then open up to reveal these wonderful flower pop-ups I don't know that's I think yeah pop-up card that seems to be the easiest thing for it so I um, hope you like this one please do give it a try don't be scared um, you know um, with this one because um, once I've started doing them I've, I've fallen in love with them now and like I said that one I showed you here is even bigger so I've got some I have got some ideas and I want to play around with some other cutting and stuff because I've, I've I've got something in my mind but I need to see and um, play around with it a bit more so that might be something I'll put up in a couple of weeks but um, for now here you have it so enjoy please like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye